And welcome back to a Gator Snapper playthrough of Tales of Berseria. Last we left off, we uh, successfully completed the fucking super daring getaway plan of crash through Vortigern to get to, to here. I think this is like right before Logris. I think I made the mistake last time of thinking I, we were about to head right into the Logris the place. Way, but, oh, hello. Uh huh. Ship. But we're and actually, I think, one step away well. from where we're, we're supposed to be. So, one way or the other. Oh, this stuff. This is the thing that I said was cool because you could send your boat to collect uh, Easter eggs to the other games. I liked it. I like tie-ins. Uh -huh. do, do I have to talk to him? You know how I hate Benwick. Oh god, it's actually a, it's actually the quest too, so I have to do it. Okay, Benwick. Let's fucking speed through your dialogue real fast. Uh huh. I wonder, can I actually hit A to like skip through? I guess I can. Okay, this is kind of unimportant to me, so as long as the fucking subtitles are there and can be read, there we are. It's because, oh man, this is actually, uh, well, let's let him finish talking before I say my own little story. Uh huh. So he, yeah, That's super interested. There's so much dialogue to go through. But hey, the subtitles are there for at least one second, so it could be paused and read, right? <laughs> it's just some dialogue like this where it's kind of unimportant. I'm more willing to skip it, so. Hmm, okay. Better than me just sitting through it all and listening to these assholes talk. That's not exciting. That's not as exciting as you're making it sound, dude. And food, I guess. Okay. All right. It's a fun mechanic. I do like how it works. Oh, okay, cool. I was like, do I have to? I don't remember having to send party members out on this. That would suck. Make it very hard to do it. Okay, dispatch to the Lemon Sea. And everything here is just like press A and it will be done. There we go. And then in five minutes, five seconds, it might be a very short expedition for these guys. It was a very, very short expedition for these guys. Okay, a five second trip. Glad, glad we did it. Spent the time on that. All right, and then we got two wins. We got some soy sauce and dried fish. Thank God we sent them on this fucking do-or-die mission to get some fucking food from the grocery store, basically. Alright, whatever. Uh, so let's just send them out on another one, and this will take 30 minutes. Cool. So that should happen by the end of the next episode. Or no, not the end of the next episode. Sometime. Uh -huh. Yeah, maybe. You're getting very emotional now, little kid. Uh huh. This is all. This is all very, very enthralling. It's not like I can actually go to those underwater ruins or anything, but whatever. All right. People are excited for food. I can get down with that. Anyways, the thing I was about to say before these cutscenes happen. I bought Dragon Age 11: Tales of an Elusive Age, which is actually the very first Dragon Quest game I've ever played. But I really fucking love it. Part of what I love uh, so much about it is that, unlike this game, the environments are very, very interesting. And, I mean, the old, I, I have very few complaints about that game. That one is really fucking solid, which, don't get me wrong, I still love Tales of Berseria, but, oh my god, Dragon Quest XI is super good. Ooh, hey, speaking of super good, you are a cute... Oh my god, she's so adorable. I love her. What do you have to say? The crew of the Venvivalvi looks like a cruel bunch, but they're polite and even swap the docks. I hope the rougher sailors out there look to them as an example. What about us? We're fucking cool. Have you heard of Van Elsia? We're, um... Oh, wait, no. Our, is that our is that our cover name? The Von Vivalvi? Because I don't see any other, uh... I don't see any other ships. Maybe that one over there? I don't know. We better fucking have the Van Vivalvi as our fucking undercover name, because I am not willing to say that there is a group heard? of pirates better than us. Uh-huh. Marcus. So I'm sure that would be important. Who's Mar- Oh. Who oh. Okay, Only so he was one of the pirate kings. I love how there were pirate kings in just in all the fantasy settings or fiction settings, like Pirates of the Caribbean. I don't know. Pirate King sounds really fucking cool. Just the, the term, neat. Oh, and also this this little fucker. So these little guys have side quests that you can do, and then you collect items by doing it. Or no, you get you get points to buy more of the uh, things that come out of things like cat's chest, little accessories. Which, since there is this one right here, let's just pop into it. Hello, 75, I can spend that. Better have a thing for me. Rosy cheeks, a mark of purity in girls and in boys. Great. Oh, I wonder if it's one of those ones that I can... Sorry, we have to deal with this. This is such a waste of time, but I have to figure it out. Because I want to see, can I, um... Can I edit? Yes, yes, I can edit. I want to make these cheeks gigantic. The biggest rosy cheeks you've ever seen! Oh no, they're they're floating off of his face. Oh, well, this is a problem. How's that even possible? There we go. But now we have some floating rosy cheeks that everyone that just comes in randomly will be like, is, is there a glitch going on here? Oh, but I can't... I was hoping I could put them over his eyes, but I'm not gonna fucking worry about it. There we go. 
all of the time wasted. Let us move onwards with the plot of this game. Hiya! I guess I should get into what I say the only minor complaints I have about Dragon Quest XI are, which they're not even really like, ma they're not, they're like I said, they're minor complaints. I don't really think there's anything wrong with the game. I think it is a fucking wonderful game. The only problems I have is between the music, the voices, and I don't know, I wanna say the enemy design because it's that Akira Toriyama weird, super jokey, cartoony looking thing, but honestly, it's not even, it's it's not really a problem to me. I, I, I've started, it started growing on me, but uh, with the music, uh, I just, I don't know, it's very, well, I've been told that it's based off of uh, like all the original uh, games, so I don't know, that, it just weirds me out a little, oh, I just realized I have too much money being spent right now, fuck. I guess I don't really need that many of these, but yeah. The music just feels weird to me, but I've been told that it is a, th um, it's because it's like references to the other game, so, yeah, I don't know, but uh, it's still really good. I like the game. Onwards to plotty adventure, hello. Oh, oh yeah, the bounty hunting things, I think, if that's what it is. Uh -huh. Ooh, a code red demon. What the fuck's going on? Wait, am I the code red demon? This might be a hard bounty to complete if it's me. Nope, it's wild demons. Cool. Uh huh. What do you mean? It's like it means it's really fucking pissed. I fucking I love the how they have I've that. Heard, it's I like hunting things for like bounty hunter style things. Oh, it's cool. Wait, did you say there's like only ten? That, that makes it even more idea. special. Uh huh. Suffice it, then Don't go in against one pre unprepared. Going. I'm pretty sure I was able to fight some fucking code red demons pretty fucking easily. So only engage them when you're sufficiently prepared. I feel sufficiently prepared. Let's you go do it. Oh, and I freed the prisoner. See, see, we did. Like named Melchior Are took we? him away. Uh huh. I don't know anything beyond that. Neither if I why. just listen, if I keep what listening to all this dialogue as it is, it's ago. already been almost ten minutes. I haven't even left the town yet. Secret. That's a problem. I so he is in a cell. He is yeah. ordinary dude, but he, he is like super weird. cool. I mean, what the fuck? Yeah, why is he so important? I don't remember if I got that far. If I, well, I kind of, maybe I kind of remember. I think he had a neat gun. I don't know, he might also have just valuable information. Also, I guess he's just a fucking badass pirate and a pirate king. I don't know, he's, for an ordinary human, he's got a lot going for him. I love characters like that. Like, he's not one of the fucking weird super, super power races. Okay, calm down, kid. No need to fucking get all philosophical about all this. But yeah, I like the human characters that are, um... They, they just are able to stand on par with all their, like, crazy races. I think they're neat. Why come Why with us, Moggy Lou? Us? I can tell you all missed me something off. I mean, admittedly, I did. I, I really, I really like Moggy Lou. You can trade. stay here as long as you like. Uh-huh. No oh, yeah. <laughs> the little traitor. The, oh, God. He's gonna have to join the party soon. I don't want to deal with that. Kind of like yeah. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Why don't you just get another backstabbing like slippery accomplice? Needs an accomplice? Yeah, that's I the am one. Not a con artist. But, I mean, you are. She's so adorable. She's an adorable con artist, though. Such an icy uh, stare could freeze fire. It's a good ability don't to have. have anyone else. Not a single other well, person. No. Uh -huh. Do you have a home to return to? Hmm. Nope. What a strange, a what a strange character. Nope. Completely impossible for her to take care of herself. Ah, um, uh, ah, uh, we're all sad. We feel sad for her. Oh, that's that's sad. The witch has no friends. Ah, oh, no. no. Do you, does your nose get pity. runny when you feel pity? pity? Hmm. It's when Weird. you feel sorrow for someone else. Hmm. I Moggy Lou. <laughs> Poor Moggy oh, Lou. Come on! <laughs> it's okay, at least she has a very astoundingly resilient personality to deal with all the pity. One of the other things I noticed with Dragon Quest XI is that I never get lost in that game. The directions they give wow. you are always so fucking Those clear. Walls. It's so nice. And it's I was just so looking huge. at uh, like the advice That's they told Logris. me in this game where it's like, head down the Danan Highway to get to Logris. I was like, what the, the fuck's the Danan Highway? I haven't been told. I guess it's the only road, but on the there was two pathways that were diverging on a yellow highway and I did not know which one was less traveled by because there's a shit ton of traffic either way. Uh -huh. Yeah, you've really gone through a sudden character arc, haven't you? Like, you went from robot to little boy wonder in like two seconds flat. I think he's faking it. Just like every fucking uh, bad parent with their kids. It's like, I don't believe you, you're just lying to take advantage of the situation. Poor little Lafayette. Like I said before, bad parent. 
uh -huh. All we need to find is Artorius. Uh -huh. That's Aren't it. you a little low level to fight Artorius? Don't, don't you want to avoid getting your ass kicked terribly? Mmm, Velvet, mmm. I swear to God, if somebody says that I have to fucking fight a demon before I can come in here, be a little grumpy. Oh, no, that's what it is. Uh-huh. Just act now. Yeah, but they will inspect the one party that looks really, really stiff. fucking stand-out-ish. Like, look at all you guys. You stand out like a fucking sore thumb, as they say. Yeah, especially Velvet. I don't know yet. You know what? I don't even know how that guy sees through his helmet in the first place, but... It's hard not to look at Velvet. She is a she is a cutie, especially in that outfit. I need to change her outfit so people don't try to look at her as often. She looks so cool, though. Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, I've got um, that. Why are you well, flipping your coin? Oh, was it your bad heaven. luck, Where asshole? Why would they let all these people in without checking Foolish each of their girl. travel permits? I told you? Why would you just, just fucking hit her in the face? Oh, Magilu, you're gonna die. But I love this scene. This is actually one of my favorites. Mm -hmm. No skipping dialogue for me. Uh -huh. mm. God, she's such a bard. Such a fucking showman. For the ceremony. Yes. Why, yes we are, so why would they ask for a travel I'm permit from only this group and not any of the others as like a random inspection? I'm confused. Um. Uh huh. Do you even have any doves? This trick sucks. Oh, uh, sorry, mistress. Uh, wow, she's. She looks a little pissed. Yes. Mm -hmm. You pathetic little shirker. Oh. God, I love this. It's fine. Mm -hmm. Doves flying around would be a nuisance. What are you talking about? It's a city. They're it's supposed to be flying around. If you cannot summon a dove, then act like one. Oh, Moggy Lou. Like <laughs> I fucking love it. I love those moments in anime. And this cool, one, too. Cool. <laughs> Everyone's just looking. Oh. oh, everyone's laughing. Oh, oh, and there's the doves. There were some after all. And little fucking boy wonders in maze, well, of course. Oh, uh, God. Magalu, you're not gonna live through the night. You're, you're about to die. Oh, she's looking down. Poor Velvet. Whoa. Did you get a new voice actor all of a sudden? Sorry. I guess no fucking loitering here trying to promote our show. Bullshit. <laughs> uh, everyone's gonna die. Everyone's gonna be consumed. Coo coo. Coo coo. Ah, that's great. Murderous gaze. Coo coo. Those doves were amazing. And so is your dove act. Just velvet. If anything, it just shows the capital's defense. Yeah, that is that is actually kind of a surprise now that you think about it. Oh, never mind. The defenses should have stopped people from coming into the city just randomly, but whatever. Oh. Yeah, velvet. You want to rethink your plan of. You fucking no murder the capital. guy in charge of all those defenses. Covered. Uh -huh. we need transit documents. Yeah, better go See find some just laying smell? around, I guess. To think they were fleeing from demons just a few years ago. Yeah. To hold an observance of this scale. How did they even manage to keep a society blood. going with all those demon problems? Paid for oh, 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 okay, calm, calm down, Velvet. Velvet. Velvet, you're you're having a moment. Oh no. Well then. <laughs> okay, it's fine. No more moments to be had. Alrighty, well, let's continue onwards with our, uh, I guess, attempted assassination. Ah, oh, you're a cutie, too! And, like, uh, your mom is, too. She seems like a nice lady. Hello, mother. Ah, oh, she's a sweetie. Onwards we go. Oh, look, this little, this exorcist actually seems like a decent human being. What's going on here? I, I, I want to thank you for watching over me all the time. You're quite welcome, you little shit. Seeing you healthy and happy makes it all worth it as long as you pay your taxes. Oh. Damn the government! I'm gonna rebel! And then he just strikes her down where she stands. Like I was saying with, I, mean, I keep harping on Dragon Quest XI, but comparing it to this game, Dragon Quest XI has like s cities like this too, but they don't have these very large empty areas like what I'm standing through right here now. Everything feels like, I don't know. There's this, I don't know. It also helps that the characters in that game are always like moving around, like the NPCs. But this feels like, this feels like just. It just, it feels like a fucking empty city, basically, with just a couple of people standing around in places. It's all very robotic. It's all very... I don't want to I don't want to say fake, because that's stupid. It's a video game, so it's supposed to be fake. It's just the cities in Dragon Quest XI have a kind of, like, 
a simulacrum of life, if, if you will, where uh, there's just there's, all, there's stuff going on. Like, I can imagine people are actually living here and not just sitting around staring like a bunch of creepy robots. There's a, there's a semblance of life, you could say. Hello, can one of you point me to the direction of the plot? Prince. Oh, I can find out if... Wait, no, I'm thinking of Tales of Zestiria. I still don't know if the princes in that game were, like, Dragonia or whatever. Uh-huh. God, you people are hypnotized and creepy. Uh -huh. Mommy was showing them uh, her gratitude last night at the, at the public gangbang. Oh, no. This is a very scary uh, situation I create for myself. Uh -huh. Yeah. I mean, Velvet, you can be all mad as much as you like, but Ar Arthur does have a thing going on here where he's defending innocent people. They're a little hypnotized, but they're very hip they're defended. And they're innocent, so not like they don't deserve it. Just say in Velvet, you're very, very self-centered when it comes to your revenge. I know for a fact that there's, there's a lot of things to do in this city. Like, not things to do. Go around and collect random items like this. But I'm just going to try and head directly towards where I believe the plot is to be. Mainly because for a lot of this episode, I was stuck in the first town. Busy talking to myself, it would seem. Oh, fuck. We have a whole celebration going on here. Things are looking good. Everyone's so happy. They love it here. Oh, I can't wait to ruin that for them. Wasn't Look, the whole cheers. city turned out. Oh, my God, I forgot sure he had those floating work. fucking pink cheeks Subjects, in the in the sky. Uh-huh. Asgard. That's who the Asgard. fucking royalty Prince in this game is. More like Asgard. <laughs> Reaching for low-hanging fruit, I'm sorry. Uh-huh. Yep, where, where's your voice coming from? Where's this prince you speak of? What is happening? Maybe... Oh, may, it must be on the other side of that gate. So there, there is a larger crowd, I hope. I hope there's more in this city that turned up for this event than this. There's like ten people here. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. What? Velvet, you're looking a little anxious. What's going on? Uh-huh. Oh. Oh. Velvet. Are you... Whoa, don't just shout all of a sudden. Yeah, seriously, Velvet, calm down. Oh, no. Oh, no. Trigger. Trigger warning. Velvet's pissed. Go... Bye. God, everyone's chanting his name. The entire town that showed up standing there like robots is all cheering. See, that's the other thing. Dragon Quest XI, you fucking, your little fucking character models are actually doing things in times like this during the cutscenes. Oh, whatever. God, yeah, the, the, the characters in Dragon Quest XI move so much smoother. Not like robots. I keep bringing, I keep bringing everything back to them seeming like robots. But I mean, this is still cool. I like this. Calm down, Velvet. You're, you're already failing. Oh. How you doing, Lofty Set? <laughs> you support this decision that she's making? God, Velvet, your plan was just flawed to begin with. You're not even, not even up. You're not even climbing the wall correctly. How are you even going to? Okay, she's a little. Uh, okay, she's a little. She's a, okay. She's starting to climb. This is very. This is like watching King Kong go, climb up a building in a rage. Oh boy. Velvet, I don't condone your actions, and I think you're gonna get into a lot of trouble. Oh, the Shepherds! That's what they call it in Zestiria. I forgot about that as well. It's, it's like this is the mirror of Zestiria, almost. Like it's supposed to be. Go. Am I gonna take control of this now? Do I have to deal with this shit? Oh, hey! Oh, it's one of the real cutscenes! Thank God, they look so good. Ah, uh, replaces the fucking bullshit of the boring, <laughs> the boring 3D cinematic cutscenes. Oh, this looks so fucking good and pretty. And who's this asshole? That's the Prince Asgard? We haven't even gotten a good, clear look at his face so you can tell how important he is. Meanwhile, this guy's actually important. Hello. Right, did, mm, is he gonna spot her from across the, the way? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Is, is it cool if I throw a kid I down a well? That that was my question, and everyone please. said it was cool. Except for one girl, but she's unimportant. Uh-huh. Oh, this is his excuse for, like, hip mass hypnotism. Oh, look, and the whole gang's here. There's Lady, there's One-Eye, and there's Other One-Eye with, a uh, Hat. One-Eye Hat. That's what they call him. One eye hat the wonder boy. And now that very uh -huh. stands ready before all of us uh -oh, today. Okay. 
I offer my body and my life. Boo! To Go back to Asgard. Like the person, not the place. Of the Empyrean in Nomina, Stop I making up gods! A world without calamity. Calamity and lets society grow! Suffering. There's just like a couple of bad apples in the crowd. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Everyone loves reason. I mean, fuck, as long as the whole society's safe, I'm sure it, it, it's sensible. But here's old Velvet standing there like, oh, like her last name would say, she's standing there like a crow. You're the one who murdered. Uh-huh. God, your eyes are big. Oh, hey. How did you get up here so easy? How did you guys get up here so easily? Probably just using the staircase like a fucking adult. I'm right here, though. I'm not dead, Velvet. You don't have to worry. Holy shit. You have to really fucking, fucking bite deep to break your hand open like that. The clenched fists. Alright. That's who you're after. Did was that not clear? Did she not explain that part yet? Oh, I guess not. Hmm. hmm seems like a bad idea. Ah, uh, yeah, with all those people there. Yeah, there we go. I need a sword of reason and will. You mean like what he just said? You copycat. But reason and will is what sucks. Thank you. Lafayette, is all you contribute to conversations repeating the last sentence that people say? God, what a little shit. Oh no, Moggy Lou, stay, stay a while. No, don't say bye. May your days be fruitful and your nights tormented. Great, thanks, Moggy Lou. If our enemy's calling himself a shepherd, he won't be going into hiding. Yeah. Let's take this slowly. It's, 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 it will take a long time, don't worry. I'm putting this series at like a hundred episodes, I imagine. Especially with the progress I put in today's episode. Oh boy. Uh-huh. You got it, boss. Uh-huh. Why don't you just get like a, a bomb or something? Uh-huh. Can anyone design a nuke? Uh-huh. I don't go inland much, I'm afraid. Hmm. Ifrit has close ties to a shadow guild. The downside to being a fucking awesome pirate crew. You don't know anything that goes on the land. Baskerville. Like the Hounds of Baskerville? Like that episode of Sherlock? Right? I think so. Oh. Oh, cool. Perfect timing. We can eat first. Oh, that's right. The tavern is where the Hounds of Baskerville are, or whatever they're called. Well, cool. On that note, I'm going to end this episode right here. Sorry that the first ten minutes were spent in uh, that first town. I will try to be more expedited in the future episodes. So yeah, let's just pause here so we don't have to uh, miss any more dialogue. So yeah, this has been a Gator Sniper playthrough. See you guys in the next one. Later, everybody.